everyone i hope you are keeping well today i have been uh, invited by uh, himat organization to come and uh, deliver to give a talk on uh, diabetes can you tell us about uh, himat of course so himat uh, is an organization which uh, looks after the carers right. so the carers i mean everybody who looks after the disabled children or family members right yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's like that. So we, uh, so what we do at Hitman, we invite all the carers and give them some time. You know, we take them out for outings during the weather, and we give them uh, some information. We do coffee mornings every Mondays. Every Wednesdays we are doing free sewing classes for them. Oh, wonderful! So yeah, so every time we do give them. Know, something to do. Yes. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. We also do Christmas and Eve dinners. Oh, wow. so, Wonderful. Yeah. So we take them out. And there's lots of whole lot of activities that we do every week on Mondays in coffee morning. Oh, right. Like we did for Mother's Day, we did card making, we did uh, flower bouquet making. Oh. Um, on Pancakes Day, we made pancakes for them. Oh. We did it all together. I like pancakes. Yeah. So whole lot of things. You know every. Week we do different activities, sometimes games. We help them. We provide help them to fill up forms oh, for right. benefits. Okay. And uh, also, if they want uh, to enroll in any courses, free courses, yeah. like computer courses, English courses, we help them fill in forms for that to oh. get them enrolled. Wow. Do you invite people like myself to come in, yeah, or, yeah. or is yeah. it just you doing it? No, we do it right uh, for some information to be shared. And uh, some knowledge to be given. All right. So, like you are here to, uh, yeah. to let them know about the nutrition mm -hmm. and uh, healthy cooking and eating yeah. habits. Yes. So yes. that's one thing our Asian ladies would, uh, the carers would like to know about. How do you monitor the? Yes, we do. We do that. We have a website. Okay. Uh, for Himmat and where we've also uploaded uh, the feelings of our carers who've been with us for a long time. All right. They tell you how their lives changed when they joined Himmat. And they used to be very depressed and isolated earlier, but when they joined him, but then they met parents and uh, other carers, and they shared, you know, their feelings. Yeah. Of, so they, they never felt alone again. Oh, they people. felt that we are all in together. Hello, my name is Antonia Wobodo, and I'm a college teacher and also a whole plant-based food nutritionist. Home play, whole, whole plant, whole, whole, whole plant-based food. That's good. Does anyone know what that means? Yeah, that is like uh, a plant uh, vegetarian. What is plant? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Very, very. Well, you say uh, whole plant because you can say I'm a vegetarian cook. Yes. You know why I can't say I'm veget um, it's vegetarian or vegan or all that because you could be vegetarian but you're eating biscuits. You are eating cake, you are eating donuts, they are your main food. Yeah. Yes, you don't eat meat, but you are eating other things that are not healthy for so health. Yes, right. yes, that's why I can't say vegetarian. Oh. Um, I'm going to, the topic is diabetes. Yeah. And then we're focusing on type 2 diabetes. I'm going to mention other types of uh, diabetes. Yeah, but uh, that's our main focus. Then, uh, the good news is that uh, type 2 diabetes is almost always preventable yeah. we can prevent it and we can also manage it but guess what we can even turn it around meaning that it can be reversed yeah. in some cases yeah agree yes so, so uh, you've been talking about type 2 is going to be uh, on the other side as well no no type 2 when you get uh, you, you take medicine around now she say we take this nutrition program, you can reverse, there's no diabetes. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Right. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. Because, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm... Yes, thank you yeah. for that. As, as uh, we go along, as I progress with the teaching, you're going to find out that type 2 diabetes is actually a nutritional the, the, uh, problem. Yeah. Oh. Meaning that it's something we created as a result of the way we eat. Okay. Okay, so but what I want you to take home to, to the message yeah. 
is what I'm a message you have, I want you to take home yeah. is that type 2 diabetes if you've got it already yeah. there is hope oh. there is hope it doesn't matter how long you've had it yeah. just have in mind that there is hope right. yes but you have to be prepared you have to be willing to make nutritional changes as well as lifestyle ch changes hmm. so you can it, unfortunately i can't just give it to you like that <laughs> you so have you have, have to do, it you, you have to do some work yes so let's uh, get started with the teaching so diabetes does anyone know anything about the uh, diabetes what is it Blood, high blood sugar, high, high sugar in the blood. Fantastic. Yes. So, yes, that, uh, uh, diabetes. Yeah, body is not able to process the sugar. Ooh, the way I have of course. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, <laughs> yeah. so diabetes is a condition yeah. where, like you said, we have too much sugar in the blood. Yeah. And why would, why would that be? Why would anybody have too much? We're supposed to have blood in our, uh, we're supposed to have sugar in our blood, but why would anyone have too much in the blood? Well, it's not the blood in it. it's not other mechanism, it's not, uh, the sugar is not used properly in the body. Fantastic. Or sugar is not converted into glycogen or something. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, that's because the is scientific yeah, insulin yeah. has a problem. Yes. Yeah. It has problem. Something is uh, is uh, not right with it. Yeah. Because now I'm going to talk about uh, types of uh, diabetes. We have type one, yeah. which is uh, insulin dependent, where you have insulin. On, yes, you have insulin for the rest of your life. Unfortunately, why? Because insulin, like you mentioned. Is produced by your pancreas. Yeah? And your, there's an organ, there's an organ called pancreas that produces insulin. So, but the, the insulin, the insulin produced, the, the beta cell, beta cell, good, is damaged. It's not working. Okay. That's why you have to depend on insulin to live. Yeah. So how does beta cell work it well, in your body? It's supposed to, it's, it's supposed to produce insulin. Okay. Yeah? Pan pancreas, the organ, will uh, produce the insulin, but something makes the insulin, the insulin. The beta cell is damaged. It's not working. But you need insulin because you can't leave too much sugar in your blood. You need insulin to take it to somewhere which we are going to discuss. So that's why type two, type one, you have. But with what I'm the the whole plant based food I'm going to teach you, you can improve it. You can uh, manage it, but you are going to need insulin. Yeah. For the rest of your life, unfortunately. But the good news is that. You won't die from it if you, if you implement, in most cases, it will help you to live as much as you, yeah. I mean, uh, you are designed to live. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so type two is the one that is caused by nutrition. Mm. It's the one that we can reverse, we can turn around. Why? Because of the uh, type two is created, it's, type one has no insulin at all because yeah. it's not producing anything. Type two, now your pancreas, your organ, is producing insulin, but yeah. the insulin is not working. You have it, but it's not working. So I'm going to find out why it's not working. The third one is gestation. Des Gestational. Oh, gestational. Well done. Wow. You, you, should, no, be you, you should be teaching this. <laughs> no, I had it. I had it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm still a diabetic. All right. So I know All right. That. All right. Yeah. So that's the one when you have your baby, it, it should return back to normal. Yeah. But you have to be careful because now it's a sign that you have type two diabetes. Yeah. I already got it. All but right. <coughs> Unfortunately. So, but. But after the good, time, you know, the good. years or ten years after the childbirth, I got the type two diabetes. After ten years of. Gastrodiabetes. Oh, right. Gastro oh, right. Yeah. Okay. And how did you find out that you had it? Oh, well, I the, 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 yeah, the first one, the gastro. First, because doctors always check you. Oh, when you check your blood sugar and all that, then they they check two hours blood sugar. Two oh, hours right. after you yeah. put the injection yeah. of uh, sugar, they uh -huh. give you sugar. Okay. Seventy-five grams of sugar they uh, ask us to drink. Uh -huh. And then after two hours they check our blood sugar okay. and they have a range. So if it is high, then they say I have less than a diabetes. Right. So they gave me insulin to okay. inject before I eat. So that is like a later part of my pregnancy. Sorry? Later, pa okay. later part of the pregnancy is right. okay. less than a diabetes. Okay. So we're going to talk more about that, but that's a, uh, a good question. We're going to talk about what is the normal range, yeah. what is the pre-diabetic yeah. pre range and then uh, the full-blown diabetic range. Mm. So we're going to cover all that. So, we've talked about uh, what diabetes is, the types. Does anyone have any questions so far? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, so yeah. we'll, we'll oh, hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Would you like to join us? Yeah, I'm just going to get yeah. Hi, I'm Shahana Chandra. <laughs> Shahana. Yeah, I work in the community. Oh, so, beautiful. And um, Sab has told me about your group. Oh, well, for the interest of Shahana, who just came in, I'm going to like uh, recap yeah. on what we've talked about. Is it possible? Can you send her, please? All right, please. Is okay, don't worry. Okay, okay. <laughs> actually, I'm yeah. not quite sure where to start. So, you uh, can look at what okay. you were doing. That's much that's easier to understand. Okay, okay. okay. Well, thank you. Right, so we talked about uh, um, diabetes. Well, the, the topic is diabetes. Yeah, so we talk, we said that the diabetes is a condition where there's too much blood, there's too much sugar rather, <laughs> too much sugar in, in our blood. Yeah? yeah? So, and then uh, we went on to talk about the types. So we talked about type 1 diabetes, type where you are insulin dependent, you live life depending on insulin, so you inject this insulin on yourself because your insulin is not working at all, it's shut down. Mm -hmm. Your beta cells are uh, uh, destroyed, so it's no longer working. So but type 2 is where your pancreas is producing insulin, but the insulin is not working. You have it, the first one, the type 1, you don't have it at all, it's not making any insulin. But the type 2, your body is making insulin, or it's not being used. All right. And the, the third one, which is gestational, which is when you're pregnant. That when you have your baby, normally you return back to normal. But other times, it will lead you to have two diabetes. So that was pregnancy related. Right. Yes? Yeah? So is that uh, clear with everybody? Yeah. So we we'll move on. Okay, so. The next thing now is I want to talk to you through the process of uh, what happens when we eat food. You see, when we eat food, mainly food rich in carbohydrate. That food like rice, pasta, yam, pasta, pasta bread. bread, thank you. Yeah. When we eat it, there's, there's, we have digestive system, enzyme, enzyme which is like a chopping board and a knife. It breaks it down, it cuts it into smaller units so that um, and then uh, um, that when it's broken down, it's broken down into simple sugar called glucose. Yeah, is everybody with me? Yeah, so glucose is what powers every cell in your body. But glucose can't get into the cell by itself. It needs help. So this is where insulin. pancreas will now release insulin. So say insulin is a hormone, it's like a messenger. 
It's like you said to me, Antonia, can you pass me this? Perhaps you can't go by yourself. There's a reason why you can't get that book. You're asking me to get the book. So that's the work of insulin. Insulin is a messenger, it's a hormone. So insulin will now make glucose go to the cell. It can't, glucose can't go to the cell by itself. So how, how does it do that? It unlocks. It, it sits on a, perhaps next time I will, I will get a board. <laughs> a, yeah, a board. But uh, just visualize a circle. A circle as your muscle cell. So normally, insulin will take glucose to that cell, to that circle. Yeah? Well, if everything is normal, if everything is working, that's what it does. And when it takes glucose, when glucose enters inside that circle, it powers, it gives power. It gives energy for you to move yeah. and other things. Yeah? So, but when, it, when there's a problem, when it's not working, what happens to, you, to the glucose that's supposed to go in, this, in the circle? It's in the blood. It's in the blood. Mm. And it's not supposed to be in the blood. And the while it's in the blood, it's causing confusion, it's causing problems. Yeah. What is it? Apart from your sugar level going up, rising to excessive level, yeah. there's something else that happens there. But the, the, the body is obviously you could end up with a stroke. Thank you. Get a heart yeah. attack and look at this stroke. I mean, I'm diabetic. Are you? I am diabetic type 2 diabetic. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. No, it's got, okay. There's good news my, here. my reason for being diabetic was when I was ill. All right. A couple of years ago, I, I was on nothing apart from drip. And it was my liver infection that made me diabetic in the hospital itself. Because there was no food. I couldn't take anything because I was vomiting all the time. I lost four stone. Oh, in one week, I lost one stone. And that's when they realized that at the same time as my liver infection, uh, um, that I lost the stone because of I, I developed diabetic. So you can be not without food, you can develop diabetic. So you can be, di you know, so I've never had this before. So during one illness, I developed another one. But it was controlled after I got better. So I'm still on tablets and I take other things as well. Alhamdulillah, I'm really good. I've lost four stones. I was really big. I think I've seen you before. Okay. Yeah, I've met you somewhere. So I was really big, but I had no problem. So can you, can I just ask you, what was it that um, you had that made you... I had a liver like, infection. Oh, right, I had I to have liver bypass because I had liver abscess, which was me. From my liver, fluid was coming inside my stomach. Oh. It was inside my stomach. And that way I couldn't breathe properly. I was shivering all the time. The taste had completely gone, but I was not that hungry. I was never hungry. If I saw food on the table or you were eating something, I was feeling sick. Saying to myself, why is she eating food? My brain was saying, why is she eating this? Why is she eating this? But we have to survive on food. And I know that, but my brain kept on saying, no food. If I saw food, I was sick. Wow. The liver infection had a big effect on me. It's I had to. It was a day, yeah. It was caught. I was at work one day. I collapsed. Oh I was sweating before that. I didn't know it was anything. I fall. So I took it. I became the doctor. So you know how you you just took along your work and everything. And then when I collapsed, they realized that something had gone wrong. I had to have an emergency operation. So I had to have fluid taken out through a tube here till my rib liver had gone down. It was swelling in and it was killing me. Yeah. Yeah. So it took um, over a year to get fixed. I had three operations. I didn't know there was so, a it must have come a little bit before that. I wasn't taking it seriously. I was feeling a little bit dizzy. Sometimes I took this as stress from work. Okay. I thought it was stress from work, maybe overloading myself. No, I used to feel like something there, but I didn't feel like it was something necessary. Mm -hmm. Something, oh, it's take some paracetamol. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I'm very bad with tablets, but I don't like tablets mm -hmm. because of the side effects that just to you. So when I used to it and I think, oh, it's stress, it's that, and 
I didn't go to my doctor because my doctors are brilliant doctors, they detect it straight away. It was one day I felt dizzy, another day I felt a little bit dizzy. When I went to work, I wanted to just close my eyes, so they said rest. Next minute I went to my daughter's house, I collapsed. And I was, you know, jumping. My body was jumping, I couldn't tell anything. Took me away to the hospital straight away, they detect fluid was coming from, because when you lose fluid from your liver, you're losing a lot of protein, yeah. Yeah. everything that's functioning your heart and everything. Alhamdulillah, they did catch it quickly, and so I had the operation. But I, although I lost a lot of stone, I felt like I was 20 stone. No. Two, three people had to lift me up, hold me. I spent a lot of time in the hospital. When I came home, I couldn't go upstairs to my bedroom. I had to make a bedroom downstairs. From the sofa, my children or somebody have to lift me up. My hand, my leg blew up very big. They give me injury through my chest from my hand from the hospital. Every day they came for a few months to put change it in the evening and in the uh, morning. Because the reason why I had to come, I had to specialize and say they have to come. They wanted to keep me three, four months in the hospital. But at that time, something is going in my brain and I want to commit suicide. I want to go out the window. I did go out. My brain was telling me I can't stay here. I used to see vision of somebody coming and attacking me. I used to fall down from the bed. They said, no, there is nobody. I said, somebody's hiding in my bathroom. No, I was not. Because I was starving, they couldn't feed me anything. I couldn't take anything orally. If I did take something, maybe some one or two fruits, that was it. So you need food. Although the operation was successful, mm -hmm. you need food, but I couldn't. Is the action by the fatty liver or? Maybe? Liver. Yeah, why, why is the liver? They said it happens to a lot of people. They said one thing, I had gallstone before that. I had operation for the gallstone. Gall but they said when they take the gallstone bladder out, sometimes there is something there. A lot of people develop the liver infection. But it doesn't happen always. I was one of them. So if, if they say it, they believe it's like 90% is to, uh, is to do with people who've had gallstone taken out, the bladder, because this is part of our body as well functioning. So that might be, that's what it is, that's 10 years later. So it didn't develop a straight away, it was 10 years exactly. later. I think that's what the talk I'm, I'm uh, giving is all about. Yeah. It doesn't come in overnight. No. So it, diabetics cannot... came for me while I was in starvation yeah. for about six months in the hospital in and out, then for the whole of the year that I couldn't take any food, hardly. So if, if sometimes diabetes is, is related, if you have too much sugar stuff, if you don't, if you don't have any, obviously you're going to develop something special with the illness. So my diabetes is type 2. I'm under control and I am taking my medication properly, but the side effect can affect you if you don't take it as well. So I'm, go I'm okay and I'm back to work because I thought my life is finished because I was a social worker for 30 years for the Manchester City Council. I did international work, everything, but I thought my life was finished. Alhamdulillah, I'm still here and I am still working for the community. I will do for the last breath. <laughs> You are here with us, yes. and then uh, thank you for sharing thank that, you. that powerful message. It's not just um, uh, checking yourself and then you say, Oh, oh my sugar level is off. Yes. Something else is happening there. It's damaging your blood vessels that is leading to heart, that if it can ca cause heart problems, heart disease, can go to affect your brain, blood. Blo thank you. Blood I affected. Yeah, okay. Oh, it's not my eyes. Yeah. All right, yeah, exactly. So the cells, the... Um, yeah, so that's why, yeah, eye uh, blindness yeah. With, uh, with, uh, with time. Yeah. So heart, I mean, heart, kidney. brain, kidney. eyes, kidney, it, yeah. Yeah. It, it causes you damage and then that might lead to... And especially the legs. Yeah, your amputation. Yeah. Yeah, nerves. Yeah. It, it, it damages it as well. So, this is why if you are on medication, 
or if you have too much blood, or too much sugar in your blood, it's, I'm not going to say be, be scared, but don't, it's not, it's not right. Something is affecting your whole system. So, so that, sorry, sorry, just that's what I wanted to know. How you will know that you got these things, this problem? Diabetes 2 or diabetes 1 type, type of 2 or type of 1? Okay. That, how yeah, you can tell? Okay, thank you for that. So, we, there, are, there are symptoms, there, there are signs you might start having. Yeah? Like tired, tiredness, because, <laughs> tiredness, because when, when your cell, your muscle cell and liver cell is rejecting the glucose. Remember, glucose is supposed to come inside that muscle and liver cells, the circle. Yeah? Uh, imagine, imagine circle. So your, your, the glucose outside your bloodstream is supposed to come inside this, the, the muscle and the liver cell, but it's not coming in. Yeah? So, so when it's not, is the main cause. Yeah. The, when, when, when it's not in, it starves you from energy. You feel tired. So when you start to feel too tired for no reason, that's you a sign. Have more sugar. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, well, well some people say have sugar. So on that but time, find out, go to your doctor. This is yeah. why whatever I'm te My teaching answer. here, I'm not a doctor. Yeah. So I will advise you work with your doctor. If you are feeling tired for no apparent reason, yeah. it's a sign. Mm -hmm. Because your, your thirsty, muscle yeah, cell and your liver cell are starved of energy. The glucose is supposed to come in, but it's not in. So, so not just it's causing problem outside, and then it's causing problem inside as well. One, I can say one symptom yeah. that I had was when I was even now I have it now and then because if I don't take it's like I'm talking to you now and I can see the vision, you uh, know, yeah. like this and then like <laughs> like this. Yeah. So I I can feel it's coming. So say I miss four hours nothing to eat or drink, you know, especially water. I'm like this and I'm thinking and that time I know my sugar levels goes to like 26, 27 oh. which is a very dangerous level 26? 27 That's good. Yeah, it's a very dangerous level so uh, straight away I have to lie down for 5-10 minutes I, I can't tell anything I'm, I'm still here alive but everything is blank I have to have that rest and uh, medicine or something so when it goes high what I do I keep something with me which is sour something sour and it got, goes down you know Imli yeah. I have Imli water and I have this one as well yeah. so it goes down it goes down slowly and I know I'm on the verge if it's 26 because I will end up with the stroke or something yeah. so far it's happened so many times to me at home and I'm talking to somebody or they are talking to me and I'm, I just fall asleep Okay. That's so and the water helps. Uh, water helps. Uh, if people have got low sugar level, they have to have something sweet. So I measure that one okay. in the morning and the evening sometimes. Okay. So Imli is a sour one. So if you have high, I've realized it really does work. Okay. That's emergency. Obviously, you have to be on medication. If it's low, you've got to keep something sweet so you know it's very low because that's when your pressure starts going very high as well. So for me, I'm always high. I'm not okay. low. Okay. So, so you have to have your monitor with you all the time. Not all the time. I mean, we do in the morning and evening. I have it in my car if I need it. But I know when it's going to happen. You can tell, like she said. Uh, sorry, your name. My name is Antonia. Antonia. Well, like Antonia said, there's different things for different people. Symptoms. For me, it's dizziness. I fall asleep. And, and everybody knows then that this is me. My feet go cold, my hands go cold. Well, 26, 28 is very dangerous level. Very, very. So if yeah. my children know, they give me a glass of Imli water straight away, and it's slowly, and then I start opening my eyes, and I know um, that I'm okay. Yeah. It, but if it stays there for a long time, there is a danger of my body, another part is gonna go away. Yeah. I'm glad that you're part of this because uh, I, I'm believing that uh, at the end of this teaching session you'll be able to pick one or two things because what, when I introduce myself, I introduce myself as a whole plant-based nutritionist. So what, what that means is that uh, we, we, we dive deep into the, the course, not just treating it, not, not just managing it, 
but at the same time, I'm not a doctor, so I will, I will um, recommend you tell your doctor as well because uh, because what what I'm teaching sounds simple, but it's powerful. Because what I'm teaching, sorry, um, is a is a is a solution, powerful solution. And if you have medication and you're taking the medicine, there's chances that uh, you, your blood sugar will drop so low, go to, uh, leading to a hypoglycemia, yeah. which we don't want. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to cover all that. Tell you why yeah. I'm. Uh, my my approach and the approach of many doctors that I, I follow I get to the root cause yeah, not not just treating it yeah, I, I have a personal feeling you know the diabetes yeah it's not the, uh, the treatment plan you not know, diabetic treatment uh, it's not the like it's not uh, good like you know this they are not doing it correctly you know it's not the right management i feel okay you you yeah, feel i feel okay, okay? because you the doctors diagnose diabetic and they give medicine yeah. and all that i feel that they, they have uh, doing something wrong mm. because when you take the medicine again and again the blood sugar goes up okay, okay? now right. they st now they start with one medicine metformin okay right. then they uh, later on uh, sugar goes goes up yeah. then they give another medicine glucophage you know glucophage glucophage the other another medicine yeah. then they, still the sugar is not coming yeah. down is going up now for the pinky you have got to be right. careful with right. your diet right. Diet yeah, is I'm very talking. important. So, you can't just take third, medicine. No, no. Uh, I, I won't continue what I want to say. Then again, third time, they give another medicine. Then they say the sugar will go in the urine. Okay? Sugar will pass through the urine. Okay. Then still the person is taking the medicine and it's not coming down. Sugar is very high. And right. later on, doctor say, sorry, now you have to take insulin. Okay? Because this is my personal family experience of my parents. Okay. You know, my mother had diabetes. And then when she was taking insulin, then the liver is getting damaged, you know, then she get liver cancer, you know, then she get other, other illness. So I, my personal feeling, 100%, the, di the, the disease uh, diabetes mm -hmm. is not uh, scientifically understood very well. Okay. And they are not giving the proper treatment. Okay. You see, whoever it is, people are dying in diabetes, okay. you know, they get in blindness. So if you are giving a treatment for metformin, then why can't uh, the cure? There's no cure. It's, it's going building up, building up, building up. Yeah. And later on, you're having all the complications. And then uh, su uh, suffer and die. Yeah. No, no, so no. better eat the sugar and die. <laughs> no, you no, can't prevent it. There is no cure, but you've got to prevent it. Yeah. I, I've, done, I've gone through it. I never thought this would happen to me. But it's your diet and your walking. You've got to do everything. You can't expect medication to help you if you don't help yourself. What I'm saying is the NHS or the world, the whole world, is not find out the root cause of diabetic and how to treat it properly. You know? yeah. They are giving medicine by medicine by medicine, yeah. asking us to die. We are doing it. But some people, even though you do a lot of exercise and all, yeah. sugar won't come down. And, and, and so, I understand you, yes. So I think there is something wrong. Something okay. needs to be investigated yeah. okay. scientifically. Okay. What is diabetes? Why it is causing yeah. it? That's not done. Okay. So this is why my approach, so, with all due respect to the doctors, they are doing very well, wonderful, you know, amazing work. But uh, I perfectly understand what you're saying. Yeah. So you've been on three medications. Not me, but my parents. Okay. Your parents, yeah. three medications, before they finally put them uh, in an insulin, and still nothing is uh, it's not helping them. Okay. Please. Please. Yeah. Kidney problem? Your, your dad, no, no. your mom has, has kidney issues. Kidney, kidney no, he's taking too much medicine, insulin, and everything, damage the kidney. No. Kidney problem and the fluid retention in the leg, and she is suffering. So. And then, where is she in England? Uh, no, in Canada. In but, Canada. Yeah. But she is okay. uh, she's taking insulin and her blood sugar is okay. Okay. But now other problem came now. Yeah. yeah. So. No, I perfectly understand yeah. what you're saying, and uh, this is why we're here because the approach I'm teaching you, or you're going to learn from me, is the approach of doctors who have been treating patients like what you've described, but then they, they notice that it's not working and they moved into another new approach. 
and the, you know like when I started talking about uh, when food, when we eat food is broken down into simple sugar, it makes sense to think, oh, it's sugar, oh, it's carbohydrate, let me avoid them. That's what medical, uh, uh, medical doctors, from what I read from medical yeah. doctors speaking, not me, I read that that's what they, when they check your blood, they see that your blood is elevated, it's higher than normal, they will assume, oh, it's, uh, it's sugar. It's carbohydrate. Avoid it. Cut, cut calories. Eat certain uh, amount of food. Eat chicken piece and salad. Yeah, don't yeah, don't eat, don't uh, yeah, eat it's certain carbs. portion. Avoid carbs. Yeah. Yeah. Avoid they carbs. They say eat eat uh, wheat and fat. They say fat also. They ask you uh, eat eat wheat and fat. You know fat. Good they ask you to eat meat. Yes. They All say right. Because carbohydrate is bad. Yeah. So eat the meat. Meat is protein, so you can eat it. So, 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 yeah. so that's so what they were asking. As long as the fat falls down, you've got protein inside. Yeah, that's true. Not the poreen. No. I mean, I used to eat three, four plates of rice. My rice is only about that much now. So my body has gone small, my appetite has gone small and I am less carbohydrate even then I'm trying to reduce it because in the Bangladesh is fish so we are quite good with that fish, a lot of fish um, and it's rice so like from three, four plates rice to not even half a plate of rice I get full very quickly. So we're going to go to the main cause of uh, type 2 diabetes and then how we can treat it. Yeah, is that a, a, a good uh, talk? And then, then we'll, we'll finish from there. So, the circle, imagine the circle, yeah? Glucose is outside here. Actually, we can use this as a, yeah. So, this is the circle. This, um, this flag here is the glucose. It's supposed to come inside here, yeah? And then the insulin is the key. If you, if you insulin is so usually got the key. This is supposed to come here and then open the door so that glucose can come in. But because this lane is because this is muscle cell, muscle and liver cell. Muscle cell and liver cell, there's, there's a problem inside. They can't allow, the key can't open. This can, can put the key here, but it can't open. So imagine your key, your, your lock. Your, uh, your own door, you can't open because there's problem inside. And what is that problem? It's very resistant. Yes, when it's like that, it's insulin resistant. And resistance means no, no, no. You can't. You are resisting. No business. I don't want to do do any business with you. Go away. That's why it's called insulin resistance. So, but glucose is here. It needs to come in because it's causing problem here, and this is where it's needed. Yeah. But so often, there's a problem inside this muscle and the liver cell. And what is that problem? And this circle, big, large circle, and small dots. So imagine this is a big circle, these letters. Yeah? They are dead. They're not supposed to be dead. And what are they? They are fats. Fats. Where do these fats come from? Fats from extra, extra olive oil. Doesn't matter how much it costs. Fats from uh, uh, sausages, fats from bacon, fats from steak, fats from cake, fats from uh, a donut, fats from uh, all, all those things that have uh, saturated fats. The bad fats. Saturated fats. They're all in here. And then they're here. They don't, they're not small, they are large. And then as you keep eating more, sausages and meat and chicken without the back or with the back they keep getting bigger and bigger and then guess what what else is causing problem what else that is uh, is being affected here your mitochondria yeah is he said it is it's, it's being affected and it's dysfunctional so fat the scientists they don't like to call it fat because it's three letter words they call it intra Myocellular lipid. That means fat inside your muscle cell, intra inside myocellular muscle cell lipid uh, fat. So this fat until it's out, 
glucose cannot come in while they are there. You can take insulin uh, medication to bring the sugar level that is going up down, but it does not change the course which is yeah. inside the cell. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's probably yeah. So, how do we get this cell? Out? I mean, how do we get this part out? 